In this video, I'm going to showcase this character in Anime Dimensions. This is what I'm using and with no assists or damaging traits. Remember to like the video and subscribe. By the way, I'm also making a giveaway because I hit 26,000 subscribers of a Tatsumaki giveaway. I'll make it a giveaway on my Discord server where I have it's just specifically giveaways. There we have a giveaway that ends in two days. Um, it's in my Discord server or in my giveaway server. So yeah. Both her first and second abilities are really quick for the damage she inputs. Third ability is a bit slower, but actually activates instantly and then you can use more moves. It's pretty strong. Fourth ability takes a while to initiate, but when it does, it's a 15 hit combo, which is really strong with good AoE. And it's actually pretty good there. Uh, the assist is also pretty good, considering how she also gets extra stat bonuses with the assist because she's a robust character now. So that's pretty good. Alright, so speed raid. Um, I haven't played with a lot with uh, Tasumaki, but she is pretty good, especially if you actually can reset the uh, first abilities. I'm not gonna use the uh, fourth ability right now. Actually, I should have definitely used the fourth ability. I thought I would be able to just spam the first ability, but I wasn't lucky enough. Uh, that was really slow, 15 seconds. That was really, really slow. I have boss rush though. I'm gonna use third ability to spam this and instantly use the fourth ability. Here, I actually need to use the fourth ability no matter what, because we'll. If there are multiple bosses, not only one. So. Oh, that was very bad activation of the third ability. Uh, no, uh, of the pets. But well, it honestly is fine. She's really good either way. Uh, she has a lot of damage, and her abilities make it so you can spam them quite quite fast because they don't take a long time to actually activate. Like you use it once, and then uh, you use it once, and then it's you can use the next ability basically instantly. So if you have Kurami instead of the Garo pets, it's actually probably almost better because then you can spam them uh, like once and once like so many times thing is i do have garo pet and that's what i'm gonna compare it with uh still probably is better with garo pet but uh you get my point of it being uh very good if you do have kurami so you don't need to have like garo pets for tatsumaki to be good you don't even need any pets to make her good she's just good in general uh tatsumaki is an insane character honestly uh her damage is just so good that's the thing um, she doesn't have like a spammable move really. She does have the first ability where 50% of the time it resets. But she doesn't have a spammable move like where you can spam it, where you use it and then you can spam like an ability four times. But it's fine, that's really good. It's 29 seconds, no assists, uh, no damaging traits, that's really good. Okay, so in dimensions, she doesn't have a dash, which is quite a big downside. Uh, however, I don't think it's too big of a downside because, well, most people in Dimensions, especially newer players, don't really mind characters not having a dash because, well, you need the damage to kill the, the enemies and the AoE. You don't need a dash to, like, speedrun it. But if you want to speedrun it, a dash is, uh, like, very important and she doesn't have a dash. So that is one downside with her. But her damage is really good and she does have really good AoE. Honestly, I think she's really good. I think she's plenty uh, in dimensions. Look at this AoE and the damage is really, really good. Uh, and especially if you can reset the first ability, because if you can reset the first ability uh, multiple times, then it's perfect. Because, uh, for example, in bosses here, I could use it three times there. And if you use it, if you're lucky enough, you can get a run where you basically just spam the first ability so many times. Also, it's not going very well for me on this boss, and <laughs> now it did, but that, that was really slow. But honestly, the enemy clearing was really fast because it's just really, really strong. And if you have like Celestial and actually good stuff with partner and assist and everything, you would one-shot these enemies with the uh, first ability. I don't do that right now because I don't have good stuff on me, because just trying to play the character. But honestly, the potential with Tatsumaki is really good, even in Dimensions when she does not have a dash. So that's pretty cool, but it's not the da it's not the dimension that she's good at either. So that she's good at dimensions is probably a thing too. I, it doesn't look like she's good at dimension with the gameplay right now, but she she definitely is. Uh, her her AOE is plenty. She can spam her first ability. Her damage is really awesome, 
And she does have that third ability that also um, lasts on enemies, so you can just use it and then run away, basically. So yes, she is actually really good in dimensions. And how fast can I kill the boss? Probably not that fast. She doesn't have, like, the quick damage that, like, uh, Saber Christmas or uh, Shadow Moon or Cast, where you can use an ability and then you spam it. Uh, but she's still, if you have Celestial, good stuff, uh, Mantle, good, good assists, you could probably get, like, 1 minute and 20 second times. She's really good. Okay, so Tatsumaki in raid without a pet and a pet. So the pet I'm using is the um, Divine Pet or basically uh, Cosmic Garo or Cosmic Wolfman, whatever he's called. Uh, he's very good, but I do think that Kurumi is actually going to be really good with Tatsumaki as well. Because her abilities are like spammable abilities like Gojo. Gojo, the regular version, has like spammable abilities where you can use it instantly, and that would be really, really good with Kurumi. I honestly think that she would be really good with Kurumi, but right now I'm using no pet, but then I'm also using the mythic, uh, the divine pet. Either way, she's really good with the divine pet because you can reset the abilities really quickly, just instantly. So it's not that the pet is bad, it's just that I think Kurumi wouldn't be too bad with her. I do think that Cosmic Garo is just better as a pet than Mythic uh, than Kermi either way. But yeah, she's really good and even when you can't like spam the abilities, she's still really good. Especially because of her first ability where you can sometimes spam the abilities. Um, so she's really good and that's proven by how much damage she got without a pet. She literally got more damage than Shadow Monarch without a pet. And that's really good considering how you don't have a spammable ability unlike uh, or, well, excluding the first ability, because it's not a spammable abil ability, it's just 50% of the time. But with a pet, it's really good, because sometimes you can just, uh, like, reset the first, second, and third abilities, so you can use them twice. And that's really, really strong, because those abilities are really strong, especially the third, uh, first ability, because then you have another chance of resetting the abilities. So, you have a lot of first abilities, and the first ability isn't weak by any means, it's really strong as well. Uh, the fourth ability is kind of bad in my opinion. Sure, the damage is kind of high, but it's not worth the the long duration it takes or whatever. Uh, in my opinion, the third ability, second ability, and first abilities are really good, but the fourth ability drags her down a bit. If she had like an effect with the fourth ability, maybe you can spam the first ability 100% uh, of the time instead of 50% of the time, then she would have been cracked. Otherwise, now she's still good, but she's not as good as she could have been. Um, otherwise, I think she's really awesome. Even though she doesn't have a dash, in raid she's absolutely insane, with a pet and without a good pet. So even if you don't have a divine pet like I have, she's still really good. And that's not the case with every character. You don't Sometimes they fall off with a good pet, but yeah. Um, she's really, really good. When comparing her to other characters, she, without a pet, actually performs like better than the best raid character, Dio, and better than Shadow Monarch, ever so slightly. But when it comes to Dio with uh, a pet, then no, Dio's really good with a good pet, and it's actually better than Tatsumaki, and probably not a surprise, but yeah, Shadow Monarch is also better than Tatsumaki with a uh, uh, when re when comparing to her to other Robux characters like Muishiro, which is one of the best Robux characters out there, she actually is very similar to Muishiro's damage, both with a pet and without the pet. Like basically, anyone can be better as long as you know how to use them. And the same goes to Yor, one of the better Robux characters. They Yor and Tatsumaki have like similar damage, and I think Tatsumaki actually would be better than Yor in most situations. So that's actually really cool. And when it comes to like pets, Tatsumaki doesn't benefit too much from the pets, uh, but she still does, and she still makes it really good. Uh, when it comes to Ichigo, which has been considered like one of the best characters as well, yeah, Tatsumaki has similar damage to him. The thing is, the, these three characters that I've been talking about have dash moves, which Tatsumaki does not. So while she might be similar in damage, in dimension she's a bit worse, she's still really really good. So should you buy Tatsumaki? 
Honestly, I would consider it, but I think there are better alternatives. I think she's on the same level as your. Uh, your has like a dash, yes, but it's only one dash. And Tatsumaki has a slightly more damage. Muichiro and Ichigo, I think, are a bit better than Tatsumaki because, sure, they might deal the same amount of damage. I do think that the dashes they have, especially Ichigo, is going to benefit them a bit more. So I think Tatsumaki is really good, probably one of the better uh, robust characters, but I think Ichigo and Muichiro are slightly better. Subscribe if you haven't. I make giveaways regularly, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you in the next one.